Hello, sports world. This is Michael on the mic again. I'm back uh, with my guest here, Pike. Uh, we're going to do another uh, little debate here. But before we get started, I want to let y'all know that uh, this uh, debate has been brought to you by Mobile Advances. Uh, we want to thank them for helping us out. But you can uh, visit them at mobileadvances.com for all your cell phone wireless needs. Uh, okay, this debate, uh, we're going to debate um, who we think uh, will make the AFC playoffs. And then we're going to go ahead and pick it on down how we think it will until we have who represents the AFC in the, uh, in the Super Bowl. So I'm going to let uh, Pike go ahead and, uh, and let him go ahead and make his predictions. Go All ahead, right. Pike. Well, look at it. I think the top five is pretty much locked up with Texas, New England, Baltimore, uh, the Colts, and the Broncos. I think that's pretty locked up. Seven and five, you got Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. You look at the Bengals' schedule. They, don't, they play a really tough schedule going out there at home. At home against Dallas, then they go to Philly, which, you know, Philly's going to be playing because, of course, they don't have to beat there no more. So, right. we'll see what they got there. So, they're not totally tanking. Uh, they got got to play at Pittsburgh, which that, that's going to be the decider right there, right. which I don't think to win. And even if they do win, they have to play Baltimore the next week. So, I just I don't see them really coming out right there. Uh, Pittsburgh, supposed to get Ben back this week from what I hear. Uh, they got the Chargers, who look absolutely pathetic. Uh, the Cowboys in and, and Dallas, who, who knows? knows? Who knows? But I like them again. Week sixteen, you got the Bengals. Then they finish up with the Browns. So I'd have to give the nod to Pittsburgh to get that last wild card in. Then you look at it, you're going to have. Uh, I, I think the Patriots and the Texans to get the two first round buys, which will leave you with the Broncos and the Colts match up. And surprisingly, I really do like the Colts to go in there and beat the Broncos. Uh, in my high, I think that a lot of the Colts players to, to feel that need to want to beat Peyton in Denver, but I think you'll feel better. And I'll, also, don't forget they are playing for the coach too. Yeah, so. playing for yeah, well, yeah. They got they got a lot right on. He might be back before them. Yeah, yeah. I think he's supposed to. They're hoping the last week seventeen. Game. Yeah, yeah, last regular season. Yeah. But you know, I. It, it's, it's it's up there. I mean, do I think the Broncos or the Colts? Neither of them is going to win the Super. Whoever whoever wins this game will get knocked out. Right. And that next week's I think. And then that will leave you with uh, Pittsburgh and Baltimore again. That's a coin flip. But I like Mike Tomlin. I like Ben Roethlisberger. I trust Roethlisberger or I do Flacco when it comes to the playoffs. It don't matter where it's. At. They could play the game in but it, but Italy if they wanted to. I'm I'm trusting Roethlisberger. Tomlin is a good coach, but I think Harbaugh's a good coach too. But, He's a good. I mean, that's a big rivalry. So yeah. yeah. But when it comes, I feel like when it comes down to someone making a play, I'd much rather be making that than a black But basically, I'm assuming you're going to have it maybe coming down to New England and Houston more likely? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. to see who goes. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, the Steelers win, which I think so. That means they would play the Patriots. And uh, Texans would, again, play the Colts, which I think. Well, no, actually, I think Pitts, if they're the sixth seed. They would play Houston, but yeah, they would play but Houston, Houston right, plays yeah. New England this this Monday night. Right, so New so England still have, if they win that game, they still have a shot for the one seed. Right. So. But I, I think it's going to fall out, especially with the Texas being eleven and one and New England right, being right. nine and three. I agree. But I um, the, with, with the Texans playing, you know who who knows who knows. I, I really would probably have to pit Pittsburgh probably over them to go to the AFC Championship game. I don't think the Texans are completely there, right. and especially that late in the season when it comes down to. Having to win, which would leave me with, uh, of course, I think the Patriots, if they play the Colts in the playoffs, will beat them by three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think that would be much of a show. Uh, then uh, then I'd get coming down the AFC Championship game, we'll have Pittsburgh, New England, and I'll take New England to okay. get, get back to the Super Bowl. I got you. Well, you I, that's, well, a safe, that's a safe pick. Well, uh, uh, on going up, leading on to who gets in mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, the sixth spot, I do agree with you. Um, I give Pittsburgh the slight advantage, uh, three reasons. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, they've already beat Cincinnati head to head this year. Right. Um, that was a huge, huge win Sunday against Baltimore. Right. Uh, if they lose that, then Cincinnati pretty much holds their own fate. And you know, it, but even if they lost that game, uh, they the, I think they're still they still have a chance. But they're probably going to be favored in all four. Definitely three. They may not be favored at Dallas, but if they're if they're not favored, you know they're only going to be a, a less than a field goal underdog. I do like for them to beat San Diego. Dallas, you never know uh, if that defense can can force Romo to, and Dallas to you know turn the ball over like Dallas normally does and gets in a hole with that run. If they can run the ball. 
they should win that game. They should beat Cleveland the last game of the regular season. So I'm like you. That December 23rd matchup is huge if Cincinnati can win the two games. Up well, if Cincinnati wins that game, do they win the division, you say? Well, I don't. Well, they don't win the division. But I, if, if they can – if Cincinnati – if, if them and Pittsburgh both win the next two weeks mm -hmm. and Cincinnati can beat Pittsburgh at home, which mm -hmm. which is possible because, you know, Cincinnati's playing very good in this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Ellis has really helped them, I think, a lot more than Benson has down the stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, I but think they, they get see Cincinnati go to Baltimore, though. Uh, exactly. But, but, but if, Baltimore, if Baltimore is out <laughs> of a shot to get the bye, mm -hmm. I think Cincy, if they can beat Pitt, but if Baltimore, you Flacco? well, I'm just saying, I don't know what they do, but I think they do. But I think Pittsburgh may win that game. I mean, I like Pittsburgh's chances right now because they already have the tiebreaker. And like I said, you know, like you said, Cincinnati has a tougher schedule because they do play Dallas this week. That could go either way. It's like a playoff game. Now. Exactly. I, that that Philadelphia has showed signs of life the last couple of weeks. Foles played much better Sunday night. Mm -hmm. Brown, if he could just hold on to the football. Yeah. Uh, you know, they may have won those last two games. And so those guys are going to be playing to try to get better and, you know, for whatever coach comes in. But I'm like you. I like Pittsburgh to hold on there. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I think you're right. I think it's going to be interesting, though. If Houston can beat New England Monday night, I think Baltimore gets the two seed. But if New England wins Monday night against Houston, I think uh, they get the two seed. And I want to go ahead and go out on, on a limb and say that New England wins that game because it is in New England. And, and so I think I think it's pretty much set up the way it, it, it is right now. I think, like you said, Houston will be one, New England will be two. I think New England wins out till the Super Bowl. I got and you. And I'll save that NFC for you. Uh, till the Super Bowl. And then, you know, I think uh, Denver will be four. Um, I like Baltimore against Pitt if they play in the first round, uh, just because they'll be at home. Oh, we're Pittsburgh? In the first round, that, 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 that's who that's I, 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 I And I like Mike Tomlin, but I also like Harbaugh and I keep picking Baltimore to get to the Super Bowl. I have the last three years. Their defense has struggled. Their defense has struggled. And Pittsburgh is whenever Pittsburgh needs, their defense has to play in that big game. Right, they do. But, they do. But, Every but, time. But uh, to me, it's a rival game. You throw the records out and everything. I just like Baltimore because they'll be at home. I think Denver beats Indy at home. And I think Baltimore plays New England. I think New England, as much as I hate to say it, being at home, you can never count New England out in January. And that's a tough place to go play. Yeah. Uh, I think Denver goes to Houston and beats Houston in the second round. I think it comes down to Denver and New England, and of course, what everybody would probably want to see: Tom Brady and Peyton Manning in an AFC Championship game. Like I, I said, I don't see that. I see the Colts beat them in the first round. I, I, and you know, well, I mean, that's possible too. Andrew because, Lucky. because what, 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 Andrew what, Lucky. Lucky's been playing good, but I just like I like Manning, and I think that team's starting to click, but. I have them and probably right now New England playing and like I said I hate to say it but it's hard to go to New England and win in January but oh, so yeah. I, I probably right now if I had to choose a day I, I guess I would go with New England also uh, but but I haven't beaten Denver in the AFC Championship. But I got to be in Pittsburgh. That's and you got to be in Pittsburgh so so we we definitely don't agree on that but you Tom know. Is having Tom, Tom you like Tom you like Tom and I do too but I like Harbaugh a little bit and I like him. Oh, I love him. He Eddie. ain't the best coach in his family. I, I, well, I, I didn't I didn't say he was but he, he didn't fall too far from the tree so but uh that, that's how I see it playing out but you know like I said we still got 4 weeks of the regular season. Um so we'll see how it plays out and uh you know we'll uh if you want to, we'll we'll get back here in about four weeks and maybe see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, we'll have a better view of what the playoff pitcher's going to look like and redo it. But right now, if, if I had to choose, I think the AFC stands as it is, uh, the way they got it. And I would have Denver and uh, and New England playing. You got Pittsburgh and New England. And you got Pittsburgh and New England. So, well, we, we, we both agree on at least one team, I guess, right now. So. Mm -hmm. That NFC is going to be a lot different. Than that, yeah, yes, yeah, and, and we will definitely be getting to that. So we, we definitely want our viewers to come back for that. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh this uh, little debate that uh, we had, I want to thank Pike for coming on and uh, and uh, debating with me on this. And uh, we hope you interact with it and look at it. If you agree or disagree, uh, please do leave your comments. And uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook.com, Sports Podcast. Also on Twitter, at Sports Podcast. Until next time, live hard, play hard. God bless.